honor the law. Up in the department. Oh, hello, Mr. Benton. Oh, hello, Freddie. Hello, Susie. I want a top sirloin. Well, hash brown. Make mine the same. All right, eh? Coffee? Sure. Two tops. Well, hash brown there. Yeah, the stolen car business has Reynolds all steamed up. It has the whole department steamed up. Cars are just dropping out of sight. Hmm. Have they any idea who's doing it? Not the slightest, Kemp. Looks like a well organized mob to me. Probably is, Kemp, and under very capable management. Ah, here comes your friend. Hi, me flat-footed friends. How goes the radio patrol, Ben? Oh, no, Stevens. Don't you police reporters ever sleep? Can't sleep now, Kempy. You boys are on the spot, and I smell a story coming up. Well, Larry. Hi, Susie. What about that pumpkin pie and a cup of coffee? Oh, kid else. Uh, get the police broadcast, will you, Susie? I want to hear what's going on. All right, dear, Larry. Would you get money enough to get a new car? Bonus money, my boy. Bonus money. Well, be careful it isn't stolen. Here you are, Larry. Fresh pumpkin pie and coffee. Stevens, uh, you're a smart reporter. How do you think these cars are being stolen? I haven't the faintest idea, Benton. From all reports, they seem to vanish into thin air. This gang sure and all their stuff. Oh, you break your heart, boy. Hard mistakes. Don't burn yourself. Coffee? Yeah, I'll black. Make mine half and half. Okie doke. All, all cars. Attention all cars. <laughs> Boy, would I laugh if they stole your radio cars. patrol car. Ooh, that wouldn't be anything to laugh at, Stevens. Black. License number. Page 35. Well, wouldn't have the nerve anyway. Four. Edward. Five. Six. Three. Five. And what was that last number? Six. Three. Five? This car is the radio patrol car in District 35. Hmm, well, I'll be a... That's us. That's our water. patrol car. You could have reported our car stolen. Somebody on the end just to prove they don't fear the police. The well, saints preserve us. Our patrol car is stolen. And some wise guy reported it. Now what? Come on. I'll drive you to headquarters. Wait a minute. Till I call Sergeant Reynolds. Well, who would ever think they'd steal a police car? Well, they did. Did you lock the patrol car camp? Sure. You have the keys. Well, whoever's stealing these cars must be pretty slick. If you can lock the doors in ignition, they can still get away with them. I wonder how they do it. What a laugh this is going to be at headquarters. I'm sorry about it, Kemp. I was only kidding when I said it would be a good laugh. Well, it'll make a swell story for your paper. Uh, that's what newspapers are for. Oh, here comes Benton. Well, what's the bad news, Benton? Reynolds say who reported 35 stolen? Oh, just said some man phoned and reported the number. Hmm. He wants us to come right into headquarters. Now, oh, come on, let's go. Yeah, we're going to lose our jobs. He didn't say. Come on, hop in. I'll play chauffeur for you. These hijackers get away with stealing 35, Benton. You fellas may not be the only ones to lose your patrol cars. Can you get the police calls on your radio, Stevens? Sure. Here they are. 447 at 1260 Monroe Street, 8390, 1260 Monroe. That is all. Waters. 
Hey, what are you slowing up here for, Stevens? Oh, you don't want me to run through this red light, do you? Well, police officers have the right of way over all traffic. Go on, on, keep this car going. Don't mind that signal. All right, you're the doctor. Hey, what's that van? Hold it. Look out! Oh, hey, that was a close one. Uh, he only sideswiped you. You're telling me. Come on, Benton. Let's see what this driver has to say. Give him a ticket. And a bill for damages. Yeah. Not so fast there, fella. You hit a police car. Oh, sorry, sir. Well, sorry. Uh, but... Sorry, are you? Well, you're drunk. I'll say he's drunk. No, sir. Absolutely not. No, sir. What's your name? Jack. Jack Summer. Yeah, who's that with you? Uh, that's little Tommy Brown, my helper. Hey, Stephen, come here. Well, what's the matter? Look at that paint. Oh, what's wrong with it? Did you have your car painted before you bought it? No, why? Well, look, it's been painted at least three times. Gray, green, and black. Hmm, you're right. I wonder if they do that to all custom-built cars. Hmm, I don't know. Looks funny. Hey, hey, what are you going to do with that driver? Look him for drunk driving. And the van, what about it? Him can drive it into headquarters. I'm going to phone. All right, Summers. Get on that van. I'll drive. Say, you can't do this to me. Get up there and shut up. My boss will get you. All down. right. Never mind about your boss. Sam, Sam, we go and phone the boss and tell him I'm big. Okay. These cops will soon find out what a big shot he is. Oh, a big shot, eh? What do you mean, big shot? He's a politician. He's a big politician. He's... Humphrey Ace, is. Ace Humphrey. That's what I said. You know this Humphrey Stevens? He's a political power, Camp. Besides, I bought my car from him. You bought your car from him? Sure. Humphrey's got his fingers in a lot of pies around him. Yes, here. and he'll get me out of jail before you can get me in. That's what you think. He's liable to at that, Camp. And where's Benton? We'll see about this. He went to call Reynolds. Here he comes now. Kemp, uh, you uh, drive uh, this van down to headquarters. Okay. Reynolds is waiting for us. Stevens and me will follow in his car. Yeah, we will if it'll run. Oh, it'll run all right. You're only scratch. All right, Benton. See you at headquarters. Uh, come on. Come on, Stevens. Let's get going. Okay, get in. Well, your motor sounds all right, Stevens. Yeah, but headquarters owes me for some paint. Holy oh, officer, Benton. Hey, what the heck? Does Wallace know you're with me? Yeah, I told him over the phone. See, Ace Humphrey immediately at the Cherokee van and storage. Ace Humphrey, huh? I've been Ace expecting that. Ace Humphrey at the Cherokee van and storage company. You know him, Stevens? See him regarding a truck accident. That is all. Wallace. Sure, I know him, and so are you when you meet him. What do you mean by that? You don't want to lose your job, do you? Hardly. Well, I think you better see him. Ace Humphrey is the one man who could keep you on the force even if you lost a patrol car every night. Here's Humphrey's office, Ben. That must be where the music's coming from. Humphrey's always playing the radio. A regular theme. Come in, gentlemen. Come in. Been expecting you. So are you, Officer Ben. Very well, Mr. Humphrey. Sit down. Sit down. Here, Stevens, is a chair for you. Do you mind if I turn this radio off, Mr. Humphrey? Not at all. Not at all. I hear you had a little accident with one of my drivers. You ruined that new car you sold me. I'll have the boys fix that up for you, Stevens. Your driver was drunk, Mr. Humphrey, when he hit us. That's what I wanted to see you about. I understand you've taken him to jail. Yes, booked for drunk driving. That's too bad. But you know how it is with the boys here. They work hard and have to have their little nip now and then. Hey, you better tell them to stay off the street with their little nips. My car's a wreck. Now, Officer Benton, isn't there some way that we can fix this thing up without a lot of trouble? I don't know. Wait. I... Supposing you let me pay for the damage to Stephen's car... Save and... your breath, Humphrey. I can do nothing. You mean you won't? Something like that. Is that final, Benton? If I know my Irishman, Mr. Humphrey, it is. I have no authority... You don't have to, to sign the complaint. I have my duty. Your duty. I'll pay for this. Pay your driver's fine if you want, Humphrey. But don't expect me to let him off. Even if it costs you your job? I don't worry much about that. I'll give you your choice, Benton. Forget the complaint. Mm-hmm. Or else. Yes, yes, I'll take a chance on the else, Humphrey. Good night. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Just as you like, Benton. I was just trying to make it easy for you. Hey, Humphrey speaking. Officer Benton? Yes, he's right here. Just a moment. Here, Benton, someone for you. Yeah. Hello? Yes, it did. You're positive? Right now? Certainly I can. Uh, be in right away. Bye. Stevens. Yes. 
Did you say that you bought your car from Mr. Humphrey? I certainly did. Is that right, Humphrey? Yes, I sold him the car. Had the car ever been registered before? No, it was a new car. Last year's month. I suppose you have the original bill of sale. Look here, Benton. What are you driving at? Probably a mistake, Mr. Humphrey, but Sergeant Reynolds asked me to bring you into headquarters. Well, is he in again? Book him for vagrancy, Harry, and lock him up. Okay, Sergeant. Sergeant Reynolds. Oh, hello, Benton. Humphrey is in your office. Fine, fine. Come on, we'll talk to him. Officer Benton tells me that you want to see me, Sergeant. Yes, Humphrey, I did. In fact, I've been wanting to see you for a long, long time. A long time? Yes. You see, uh, I didn't know it was you, Humphrey, or I could have seen you before. Let's have it. What's the rap? You're under arrest for stealing and selling automobiles. What are you talking about? The charge, I believe, is grand larceny. You haven't a thing on me, Reynolds? Haven't I? Well, thanks to Officer Benton's sharp eyes, I have. You cops are all crazy. You sold Stevens a car that you said hadn't been registered. It hadn't. That's peculiar, because our books show that that car has been stolen twice in the last month. Stolen? You hijacked it from the Johnson Motor Company, repainted it, sold it again, then stole it, repainted it, and finally sold it to Stevens. You're barking up the wrong tree, Reynolds. I want my attorney. Where's car 35? I don't know. Oh, yes, you're doing. You better talk. Hey, Sergeant. Shut up, Stevens, and get out of here. Come here, Benton. Look. What is it? You want to know where 35 is? 35? Sure, car 35. I know where your patrol car is. Where? Kemp's been driving it. What do you mean? It's in the van, the big moving van that hit my car. The van that belongs to Mr. Ace Humphrey. All cars, attention all cars. All cars, attention all cars. Stand by for important announcement. law.